Yes, sir. It is audible, sir. A pleasant evening to one and all gathered here. It's my immense pleasure to welcome you all. Your presence makes us very happy. Perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch the excellence. Now I call upon Yen Pooja, Energy Club member, third year Tripoli, to welcome the gathering. A wonderful evening to one and all gathered here. On this marvelous day, we are all gathered here for a one-day webinar on the topic of Advanced Information on Intellectual Property Rights, organized by the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering in association with Energy Club, Power Engineering College. I wholeheartedly welcome Dr. G. Balaji, Head of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Power Engineering College. Welcome you, sir. I extremely welcome our chief guest of the day, Mr. K. Sindhil Kumar, Assistant Professor, IT Training Coordinator, K.S. Rangasamy College of Technology. Namakal, welcome you, sir. I extend my warm welcome to our series of faculty members and students of Tripoli Department, Power Engineering College. Welcome you all. On behalf of our departments, once again, I welcome you all for this wonderful webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Pooja. Your positive action combined with positive thinking, resulting in success. Now, I call upon Yes Harihara Sudan, Energy Club member, third year Tripoli, to introduce our chief guest. Good evening to all. I'm delighted to introduce our chief guest, Mr. K. Senthil Kumar, who has warmly accepted our invitation to join us today. Mr. K. Senthil Kumar is a highly accomplished individual in the field of assistant professor, IT, and training coordinator. He had completed his diploma in information technology in Salem Polytechnic College at Salem in the year of 2005. He completed his B.Tech information technology in Pungu Engineering College at Perundurai in the year of 2008. He completed his master's in Pave Engineering College. He currently doing his PhD in cloud computing at, at Anna University. He is certified in the courses like C programming and Android programming and also he is awarded as Best Faculty, Best Course Planning and Delivery Awards for Computer Network in Sri Ishwar College of Engineering. Coming to his professional experience, he was worked as Assistant Professor in Sri Ishwar College of Engineering, Coimbatore, and Knowledge Institute of Technology, Salem. Currently, he is working as an Assistant Professor in KSR College of Technology, Tirchangod. We are pleasure to have an esteemed person like you, sir. And once again, I welcome you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Hari Rasadhan. Thank you, Hari. Now, our respected chief guest will take off his role. OK, thank you, MOC. Hi, team. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. OK, OK, team. Let's continue my session for the day. Let me share my screen with you. So the topic of the day is advanced information on intellectual property rights. So before going to that, let's look what does mean by patent. So in general, so let me show you one uh, case study. Team, are you seeing uh, Amazon window? Yes. Are you seeing my screen? Yes, sir. Team, you can type. Are you seeing my Amazon window? Yes, sir. Okay. See, right now, what you are seeing is a pre filter set. So, this is one product by this company, Live Pure. And the cost is 669. So if I go to another uh, product, the cost is 380. So if you see the product, 
both almost look same but the cost is 380 for this product and the cost is 669 for this product because this company is owning patent for this particular product so not only that this live pure company is holding patent for different different things so as you can see this brand holds four registered patents primarily in the basic electric element then apart from that they are also having one registered trademark that is for their business purpose so if you go and see their website so everything including the website including the layout everything is completely patented and they are clearly mentioning no one should make use of this kind of things so if you see this layout so if you see this some um, design everything is patented so one should not use this kind of things or one should not replicate this so if they so if someone replicates then live pure company is having all the rights to proceed with legal action against that company so this is one example like if anyone if you are going to do any project or if you are going to discover any product then you can apply for patent now let's see the theoretical definition for patent so a patent is a set of exclusive right a patent is a set of exclusive rights granted by a government so this is not only government of india even the inventor can file patent across different country so a patent is a set of exclusive rights granted by government to an inverter for limited period of time that is 20 years period so till that period no one should not use that particular technology or no one should not create a product similar to that so who is a patentee a patentee may be the person or an organization so anyone who is going to apply inventorship for that product is called the patentee let's see one use case before going to the theory cons before going to other things let's see one sample use case a company x y z so that is what right now i said live pure now this is x y z based in some location has developed a new method for purifying water using novel filtration technology some new technology so a lot of water purifiers are already there but this company based out of bangalore invented a new method for filtering water now this technology they proved this technology is highly efficient cost effective and environmentally friendly compared to existing method so in that case what they can do they can immediately file a patent and they can get copyrights for that or patent for that or trademarks for that multiple things they can do now what is the advantage the first one the first advantage production of intellectual property so company x y z now what they do they will visit patent office in their region or they visit online website and files the patent application and that is for our country that is indian patent office for what to product their novel water purification technology so after uh, after pro after going through different steps once granted the patent gives them exclusive rights to manufacture and use or sell or license the technology in india for a period of 20 years let's take a real time example kent water purifier so right now team what is the biggest drawback of ro based water purifier esteem you can answer what is the biggest drawback of ro water purifier any answers
Tim, what happened? Are you hearing my voice? You are in complete silence. You can interact. Let's try to explore what patent is going to do for you as a college student. So I will explain everything with real time example. So be free. Many of you using RO water purifiers, right? What will be the drawbacks of RO water purifier that you are using in your home? OK, I will show you the answer and I will give you one more brand. That offers some solution for this problem and if you check. In India, you will find that option is there only with that product, so let me share your screen one more time. So if you are going to use Arvo water purifier in your home, then if you want one liter of fresh good water, then you are going to waste some water like three, four, five, six, seven liters. Now this particular brand, Kent Mineral Arvo, this company, they are having one patented technology called zero water wastage technology. They claims they are recirculating the rejected water directly to the overhead tank back from the purifier. So if you go to test and certification, you will find different certification and if you even you can check patent that belongs to this organization. So right now I showed you right live pure. So if you check with live pure, you don't find this option. Why? Because they patented this technology zero water wastage technology so no one should make use of this word no one should make use of this technology so what this product is doing so this product is going to send back the water by using a separate motor directly to the overhead tank instead of uh, wasting that water but this company what they did they intelligently filed the patent and got grant for this particular technology. So this is one example. So this is what I explained in that slide too. So if we go to theory concept here, this company XYZ file some company like Kent, like Live Pure. So what they do, they file a patent application and they get the license for a period of 20 year. Now this is one more advantage, market advantage and competition. So right now we are in summer, right? Even some colleges started giving holiday for students because of water scarcity. So market advantage and competition. So in order to get one liter of fresh water, we are wasting huge amount of water. Right now water scarcity is there. So what Kent RO purifier is doing, they are taking advantage of the market and along with competition. And right now, Kent is occupying a very good number of sales in RO water purifier product. How? Because of their patented technology. What is the technology? Zero wastage technology. Now you think from yourself team, you are going to buy water purifier for your home. So live or live pure. That is also a good brand that is promoted by Sachin Tendulkar. So that is going to give you fresh water. They are going. They are going to use a multiple technology that is going to give a fresh water. But to produce one liter water, you are going to waste some liter of water. But other product. Kent Arvo water purifier. So they are saying zero waste water technology and they are saying you are not going to waste a single drop of water. Now think team, which product you buy. So you are going to buy Kent Arvo water purifier. So that is called taking market advantage and competition. If Kent Arvo water purifier is not going, to, if that particular organization is not filed a pattern, then what happens? Many companies, many local vendors, they replicate, they use the technology and they will produce a similar product. Now there is no market advantage for that company, Kent Arvo. 
they already invested huge amount of money for r and d as a result they got that technology in order to protect that they are filing pattern they are getting their pattern grants so this is called market advantage and they can stay ahead of competition so that is why now the kent arvo or the kent organization is establishing as a leader in water purifier industry compared with other brands now commercialization when it comes to commercialization what they can do the company xyz can license the patented technologies to other companies in india as well as abroad if the patent is filed across different country then even they can commercialize their license to other companies in india and they can get royalty for that so allowing them to use that innovative water purification method in exchange for royalty payment or otherwise alternatively the same company may choose to manufacture and sell their own water purification system and generating revenue directly from the sale of product so many of you heard about some big mnc's acquiring smaller companies right so how it is possible those big companies they may already have a very good number of employees very good tech leaders but still why a big companies like google microsoft frequently acquires a small startup reason the pattern that is called this is one way royalty is one way and acquiring is another way so that they can commercialize their invention so this is one advantage then international expansion so this is what i said earlier recognizing the global demand for clean water solution company xyz decides to expand internationally so what they can do they file for international patents through patent cooperation treaty so what is that pct it's very simple multiple companies or multiple sorry multiple countries they joined this patent cooperation treaty and they allowing a particular company to secure their invention within those countries so this is i will explain this in upcoming slides now by using this the same company x y z they can go to international markets like united states european union and china many other countries so this ensures that they can compete effectively and prevent infringement by foreign competitors so this is one more use then the next important use research and development funding team how many of you know a company in salem called divine foods recently got a funding from famous cine star so who is that divine foods investor who is the funder for divine foods you can check google you will get amazed you will see your favorite star and that company is there in salem divine foods nayantara ma'am not ma'am i am sir sindil kumar so perfect i appreciate Nine. your answer who is that your good name ilakya sir yes ilakya so who funded that organization nayantara yes nayantara multiple companies are there but still why nayantara funded that organization divine foods so what divine foods do what they produce any idea elakya what they produce divine foods sir it is basically startup company sir yeah startup company but why nayantara funded that startup company many number of startup companies are there but how nayantara got that interest how it is possible
you can check you can google you can google about the products of divine foods what they do they are having their own website you can check that So first, where is that company located? That is in Salem. Any idea team? No, sir. You can check their website. to make a traditional food sir yeah to make a traditional food traditional food that is their uh, main product but how nayandara came forward to invest money why what is the reason anyone can manufacture products right anyone can produce this kind of products it's not a big deal but still the reason technology and the process the technology and process that ensures their product maintains the a good amount of nutritional factors and that is why they started exporting to different countries right now they are having fda approval for their product so if it is fda then they can export their product from india to us so getting that fda approval for indian food product is not that easy and still they are capable of doing that because of that technology they use but at the same time anyone can replicate that process but still they can't because that organization is having a very good number of pattern so at the time of uh, funding they showed all those documents so that is why that famous cine star started investing on that company so that is called research and development based funding with the assurance of patent production company xy is that successfully attracts investment from venture capitalist and strategic partner to further develop their water purification technology so in the example which i said that is the native product but here it is water purification technology so nayantara nayantara she is also a venture capitalist along with her husband then the prospect of exclusivity provided by the patent encourages investors to fund this company r and d effort fueling innovation and accelerating product development because by seeing the patent nayandara and uh, husband ensured other companies they are not able to produce those kind of products that is why they confidently invested in that product even though it is a natural product it's a simple product but their process their technology enabled them to get fda it's a very difficult process for other small startup companies so that is one reason why they funded now let's enter into the further details about patenting so any product so you can even file your final year project as a patent if your innovation is good one a novelty one then you are able to file a patent and by using that so if you don't have funds to start your business by showing this pattern by showing this innovation you can easily get funds from investors so today salem if you take salem multiple startup hubs are there so t2 hub is one example so after uh, doing research and after inventing a product if you want to if you want to apply for some funds then what you can do first you need to apply for the patent then if you go and approach the organizations like t2 they will help you to participate in pitching 
where multiple angel investors comes and you can get money for your startup. That is possible, but all those things requires patenting. Otherwise, anyone can copy your technology and your business is not able to generate revenue. So this is the practical perspective of patenting. Now let's see some of the objectives of patent. So first to, pro to provide protection of creativity of creators or inventors. Then to promote the creativity of new creator. How? How it's promoting? Because many companies like big MNC companies, they have a dedicated team who frequently visit patent website. They will keep checking the published patent. If that published patent is interesting to them, then they will approach the startup company or the inventor and they try to get cop. They try to acquire them or they will come and speak about further business. So that is called to promote the creativity of new creators. Then to accelerate the technological and industrial development of the countries. To provide the exclusive right to invention and afford production against unauthorized use of invention by third party. So this is what I said still no company is ready to produce the product with the zero wastage technology because that is patented for Kent. Understand the meaning of specification. So if someone is going to invent anything, so what they do if, if you are going to file a patent, what you are going to do first thing you are going to do a thorough patent search in our Indian government patent office. By that you will understand the specification and ensure you are not replicating some ideas. So which provides a two way mutual benefit. One benefit it's for you and another benefits that is for the existing inventor. Then to encourage inventions by promoting their production and utilization. So next thing invention which are not patentable. So this is one more important thing. You are not able to get a patent for everything. So first one any artistic creation. So if you are going to draw something in the paper. And if you wish to get patent, then no. It's not they don't give that. Mathematical methods. That is also not possible. Then some business scheme. So business scheme that is also practically not possible because it is not an invention. It is a practice. So for the practice, there is no way of applying pattern. So it's a process rather than the product. Then anything against the universal law, then your invention that is injurious to public health. So right now, multiple air taxi inventions are there, but still it is not allowed in public places because if they allow then because of the present practice that is injurious to public health. So that is why many companies are not many company, not even a single company. Providing. Drone based air taxi service in India, but that is there in other countries for the limited use. So this is one example. Then discovery of scientific principles or the formulation of an abstract theory. So the theory based invention. So that is also not possible. Then the substance obtained by a matter of admixture of properties of the component by mixing some two three components. If you are getting a, a one component, then that is also not possible. Then method of agriculture or horticulture that is also not possible. Then any process for the medicinal, surgical, curvature and other treatment of human being and animals and plants to render them free of disease. So this is again only for the process, not for the medicine. 
many pharmaceutical companies they normally have a team to get pattern but this mentions only the process so what does mean by process if someone climbs if some form of exercise is giving cure to some common problem then it is not possible to get pattern for that exercise because that is a process but if the same inventor invents some medicines if that passes the clinical trials then they can go for pattern so th that's very simple process is not allowed for patterns now patentable invention what you can file what you can get grants first thing your invention should be novel so the matter that you are going to disclose in your specification document that should not be published in India or elsewhere before the date of filing of your patent application in India. Then that should be industrially applicable. So industrially applicable. What is that? So your invention that should be ready to be applied in any industry then new product or process so again i mentioned in the previous slide process is not allowed business scheme again process is not allowed but here new product or process so what this process mean the process should generate a new product that is the difference and you are able to pattern that so what are all the types of patent? So these are all the different types of patent. One is the ordinary patent. That is the first time you are going to do that. Then pattern of addition. So first time you filed an ordinary pattern. After completing a different rounds, you got a grant. Now, after some time, if your R&D evolves, now what you can do you can add those particular evolvements into your existing pattern that is also possible that is called addition for improvement in our modification for an invention for which already patent has been applied or granted then convention pattern so what does mean by convention pattern if a person or a company is filed the patent in us now they want to enter into our indian country that time what they can do within 12 months of their basic patent in that country they can file a convention patent in india then this national pace application so this is the another one if an organization is uh, ready or if an organization is interested in filing patent in different countries they can go with this national pace application so now before filing the patent what are all the responsibilities of a patentee or applicant or inventor so what is the responsibility so first to encourage and secure working of invention to fullest extent without undue delay so if they are going to call you for examination, then you are in the position to showcase your products. Not to use monopoly to unfairly prejudice or a negative opinion of interest of public. So that is also not allowed. So monopoly is strictly not allowed. That is uh, even organizations can take a legal action against those kind of uh, patterns then failure to discharge duties reasonably would lead to revocation of pattern to furnish a periodical statements to controller a pattern controller as to extent to which invention has been worked failure to provide statement to controller is a punishable offense so these are all the different duration of pattern so pattern of addition term equal to that of the pattern for the main invention food substances or medicine or drug so right now i said right about divine foods so that is seven years from the date of pattern then for any other inventions 20 years from the date of pattern 
so what are all the rights of patent so after applying patent and after uh, getting grants what you can do with that patent so you have the right to grant the license you can authorize someone to manufacture product on behalf of you you have the rights to surrender so if you wish to surrender your patent then you can do that there is no need to wait for 20 years so that other companies can manufacture the product rights to show the infringements so if someone is copying that product and if you are finding that in market you have all the rights to take legal action against them and rights to exploit the pattern so these are all the rights of patent now how to file a patent application so right now you all know about the basic things of patent and rights and everything now you are ready to file a patent how to file it very simple so you need to fill a patent application so a patent application is a request pending at the patent office for the grant of a patent for invention described and claimed by that application so how to do that first one by using direct filing so what is direct filing it's very simple a complete specification is initially filled with the indian patent office without filing any corresponding provisional specification so this is called direct filing one step process another way subsequent filing so what is the difference between this two direct filling and subsequent filling if you are having idea so right now you are having a clear idea about one particular invention but you don't know how to implement it is it possible to file a patent yes possible that is called subsequent filing so what you can do you can give a brief overview about your idea and you can do a subsequent filing first then after that you can provide your complete specification so that is called that is the difference between this two or otherwise what you can do you can file a complete specification on the first go so these are all the two ways so first thing what you need to do filing a patent application in indian patent office is the first step towards securing a patent to your invention in india so what to do in order to file a patent application you require a set of forms so what are all that forms that you require to file a complete patent form 1 2 3 5 but if you are going to file a subsequent filing or if you are going to file only high level overview of your product or invention you require only one form that is form 1 so this is for the complete set 1 2 3 5 so i will explain about those forms little later so these are all the things you need to submit to patent office then if it is subsequent then you need to file the corresponding things so patent office what they will do after getting this form what patent office will do patent office provide a facility to file a patent application online that is also possible from the native place place of the applicant through e filing or otherwise if you are not familiar with e filing or if you are not comfortable with uh, digital signatures then what you can do you can go and file the patent in patent office that is located based on the region for us it is chennai that is in gindi location so you can go and file what only one thing the patent office charges 10% additional fees for processing your hard copies of the patent so in case if your invention is maturing stage so we have the option to file the provisional patent application and after that we can file the complete patent specification within 12 months from the date of filing of provisional application 
So if you are doing your final year project, what you can do, you can file this form one initially. Then after completing your project, say for example, three months after three months, what you can do, you can go and fill the complete specification. Government is providing our parent office is providing 12 months time for you. After filing the patent application, what you are going to do? You are going to wait for. If it is the normal flow, you are going to wait for 18 months from the date of first filing for publication. But if you want to publish your patent quickly within one month, there is an option that is place a request for early publication in form nine. And again for that you need to pay additional charges. The next step after filing this form nine, you provided a complete specification. So after spending some time like for six months, seven months, you are ready with your product. You are ready with all the all the documents required for examination. Yeah, get what, the order, yeah. what you need to do? The next step would be filing a request for examination in form 18. And that is to the invention matter is patentable or not. That will be decided by. Examiner, so what they do during the patent prosecution, the examiner submits examination reports. The inventor what they need to do has to analyze the report and respond to examination report along with providing proper reasoning about this invention. If the examiner is satisfied, then you will be granted with your pattern. So these are all the documents that needs to be submitted along with patent application. So the first one application form and duplicate that is a copy of your application form one for provisional application. Just an overview of your pattern. Then complete specification form two. So either you are going to fill form one or form two or you can combine this both together. Then a drawing in duplicate. If it is necessary for your invention. So this is optional step then abstract of your invention within 150 words. Then if require those priority document form nine, the declaration of inventorship form five, then power of attorney. So if you are going to file the patent through patent agent, then they require this. So they are going to file patent on behalf of you. Then apart from that fees for each and every form, there is a fees, not all the forms, a few forms you need to pay some fees. For that you need to, if you are directly visiting patent office, you can pay by cash, but right now they are not allowing it. They are allowing only DD, not even check they are allowing now. Recently they changed this DD or otherwise what you can do, you can su submit the same using online. These are all some of the common forms and guidelines. So first one, form one, this is the application for grant of pattern, the first form. Then your form two, that may be a provisional or complete specification. Then form three, statement and undertaking. So this form is mainly used to mention that your product is or invention is not patented anywhere, even outside the country. That is form three. A declaration as to inventorship that is form five. You are declaring yourself as the inventorship for your product. Then form nine that is for request of publication. Then form 18 that is request for examination for. Grant of your pattern. Form 18. So these are all the things which I explain now. So these are all the fees. So if you are a direct applicant, then the second column is your fees. So this is for organization. So form 1600, form 2, form 3, form 5, no fees. 
If you want to publish your pattern quickly within one month, then you need to pay 2500. Then form 18. You have to pay this charges. And these are all additional fee. See, right now you are seeing right form 1600. At the time of filling your uh, patent in online, you will find a different amount instead of 1600. The possible reason is this. So what is the reason? If your patent document is going to exceed 30 sheets in a patent specification, then you need to pay 160 rupees or 400 rupees or 800 rupees. These are all the different category. So if you are a normal applicant, then you need to pay 160 rupees per page. Again, in a patent drafting, you will uh, you will also attach a claim document. So claim in the sense, what are all the different claims that you are claiming for your invention? If your claim is exceeding 10, then you need to pay this fees. That is for each climb. Up to 10 climbs, no fees, same fees. So this is the one reason why sometimes you see a different amount instead of this 1600. The reason very simple, pages may exceed 30, your specification page or your climbs may exceed 10. So these are all the things that you need to include in your complete specification. So your title of the invention, then a technical field of the invention, like what you are going to invent, your technical field, like IoT device, those kind of things. Background of the invention. So why you are inventing this that you need to specify right now for the example, I said water purification technology, the traditional method or the traditional product that waste us water. Now, if it is zero water technology, they are saving water. So background, you are going to provide only background of the invention in this paragraph. Then objects of the invention. So what are all the objects that makes your product? So what are all the things you are going to use? What are all the motors you are going to use? What are all the different uh, connections? You are those kind of things you can give here. Then a complete a statement of your invention. Then you need to draw a small drawing. Then you need to give a brief description about your drawing, like which component sends message to different different component. Those things, those details you need to give there. Then finally, a detailed description of the invention. So that should not exceed 30 pages. If it exceeds, then <coughs> you need to pay the charges. Then your climb document, then your abstract document. So these are all the things you are going to give in a complete specification. So thank you for the for your time team. I think I completed on time 7.30. Yes, team. Now it's time, your time. I hope this session is useful and you learned something new today. You spent your one hour of your time right in the evening time. I hope this is uh, useful and I gave a high level introduction about uh, pattern. Professors, you can uh, further uh, take the meeting to the closure. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Guys, if any queries, you may ask now. Yeah, it's your time, team. Okay, team, I understand many of you uh, feel uncomfortable to speak in the crowd because you are student, right? If you have any queries, then you can always reach to me. I will put my mail mail address in the chat window. You can take a note of that. Any doubts, you can always reach me. I'm happy to help you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm trying to 
check the chat window. I think that is uh, not there for me. OK, I will in the Q&A section, I will put my mail ID. So team, if you have any doubts related to filing a patent or filling application, then you can always reach to me. It's trainer.sendil at gmail.com. Even I will share my screen. So it's trainer.sendil at gmail.com. You can always reach me here. Within 24 hours, I will respond. Like at the time of filing your patent, if you get any doubts related to your claims or related to your uh, drafting, you can always reach me. Or if you want to check patent, if you want to do patent search, then you can always reach out to me. I will help you there, team. OK, sir. Thank you, team. Thank you for uh, spending your one hour time here. So I would like to get one or two feedback from students. So how is this session? Have you learned something new today? Because you spent your one hour time, right? That that too in the evening. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, Ma'am, I am asking from a uh, student's community. Guys, uh, be free. Sir. Team, be free. No worries about your professors. No problem, team. I understand. That's your uh, fear, fear of speaking. No issues. You can put a mail. I will read and reply to you. Thank you, team. Hey, sir. Raise your standard and the universe will meet you there. Thank you, sir, for your valuable words and it makes us thoughts provoking. Gratitude is the uttermost virtue to define you as a loyal one. Now, I call upon our journey Energy Club member, third year Tripoli, to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. It has been such an honor to be a part of this wonderful event on behalf of our organization. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed chief guest, Mr. K. Sindhil Kumar, Assistant Professor, IT and Training Coordinator, K.S. Rangaswamy College of Technology, Namakkal. Thank you, sir. A sincere thanks to the head of the department who handled the event throughout the session. Finally, I would like to thank all your presence for making this event success. Thank you all. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you all.